If you've ever wondered what is inside a trash bag as you drive by it on trash day, then wonder no more because today we are going to find out in this mystery trash bag reveal. Hello everyone, we are back. It is the final trash bag from this trash bag house and sad news. There weren't any more trash bags out on trash bag, on a trash bag day, on trash day. I went by and there was nothing. So we need to savor this last trash bag. You know, I, I don't know if it was just a random clean out and I thankfully stumbled upon it or if they had been putting stuff out for weeks and I just didn't see it. I don't know. But um, today, the last trash bag day. But don't worry, I will have other adventures coming up such as uh, today I finished up uh, helping my friend out with a storage unit. And there were some very interesting things in that unit. So those videos will be coming up. Um, but yeah, last trash bag of this house, let's hope. Let's hope maybe they just took a break. <laughs> they didn't want me to get excited all, you know, uh, two weeks in a row. Maybe, maybe that's it. So this bag, when I took a peek, it appeared that it had uh, clothes in it. Now, if you are new here and you have no idea what I'm even talking about, go back and check out uh, two of my previous, three of my previous videos and you'll be in the know. So let's get started. Do they still bronze these? I know they used to bronze baby shoes. That was like a big thing way back when. This is like deja vu. We've seen these before. This is Coratron. Little slacks though. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. So a lot of kids clothes. We've seen these before. Baby clothes. So these have been held on for quite some time because you know these aren't these aren't new. What's this? Oh, it's a cute. Oh, it's like little onesie. That's adorable. You might have some bigger sizes in the bottom, but that's it. It looks like this is all kids' clothes, between homemade baby clothes to you know mass-produced clothes. The doll clothes, even. Look at that guy. It's like little Bo Peep. Homemade, definitely. The woman of this home was a seamstress. We found patterns, we found a lot of fabric. So I'm assuming that she made, those are underwear. I'm assuming that she made a lot of these items um, for her daughter or for uh, the dolls. So this is a cute little flannel pajama. Oh, let's see what this is. This is Wee Willy, <laughs> a Wee Willy shirt. Oh, it's so cute. They're little like uh, toy soldiers. That's adorable. Now I know there's a market online uh, for vintage children's clothes, vintage doll clothes, etc. Um, but sometimes for me, it's just easier to take it to the flea market. I have um, a buyer of vintage clothing, and so um, it's nice to be able to supply that person with, you know, a bag full of things, that the ones that I don't keep. Oh, look how cute this is. Squire Jr. So now there's some like some boy clothes though. We've only really had girl clothes. Look at that. There'll be a Dapper Dan in that little get up. That's really cute. And another thing to note is the majority of these items that have come from the trash bag house are clean. Like they're not dirty. They might have some staining, but it's not, you know, like rats chewed on them and everything. Grand togs. Some more underwear. These diapers that the plastic ones. <gasps> Look how cute this is. It's like a little dress that has little ducks on it. Oh, this is a, whoa. 
We're gonna keep that, oh, that sucker's big. We're gonna keep that in there. <laughs> so this is a little sleep onesie, with like dogs and cat faces on it. Oh, that's so Another plastic, uh, protective gear. Protective gear. Cute little turtleneck. Where's the company is that? Polo Pal Knitwear. I have some larger, we have a skirt. Some more of the pajamas, socks. That's a new item we haven't seen before. Bouncing baby. 12 and a half percent wool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for being specific. Oh wow, now these are men's clothes. This is McGregor Sportswear. This is an odd bag. Man, I really hope they are just taking a break. All of you out there, let's just hope they took a break for a week. And the following week will be filled. And let's hope I didn't miss it. But if I did miss it, then at least we were able to save these items. Yeah, these look like a lot of men's. We're getting into some men's clothing. There's a little pants again. To be like six years old again, but I definitely want to be six years old in the 80s. I would do that in a heartbeat. So these are a lot of like underwear, little jacket, Buster Brown. That name is very familiar. This is cute. That elastic. An elastic is what gotcha, but this is, yeah, all clothing. Maybe they only cleaned out like one closet and you know, that's, that's all. Who knows, but I'm still going to keep an eye out on this home. More shorts. If these were my size, I, we'd be having a problem because I'd be saving everything for myself. The hole in the pocket. They probably like these green. I like these people. They have good taste in clothing. This is consort fabric as advertised on TV. Even just to see all the different labels and the different makers of clothing, to me is fun. More pants. Another cute. The elastic on this is still okay. I always think that like hurts your tummy though. It's all cinched in like that. More of the fancy little boy's pants. That birdie loves it out there. Another polo pal. Socks. Oh my gosh, this is the best. It is. Oh, how cute. That's adorable. They were, this was a stylish family. We have some corduroys. I used to wear a lot of corduroys back in my day. Um, that's a blanket. We're just gonna put that aside. Oh, these are linens on the bottom. It's like a blanket. They, I bet you, it, Maybe it was, you know, a spare room, a spare closet, and they just finally, these are nice, they finally were like, you know what, we're cleaning, we're doing this, we're cleaning it out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's like a, it's like a little cape? I guess so, because it has um, pins at the top, or buttons. That's nice. Might be it. <laughs> Some jeans. Oh, we're gonna save that for last. We'll end it with that. This cute top. Health text. Like just little dots and stuff on it. 
little belt. Cloth photo hinges. I hope they didn't throw out photographs. Well, if they did throw out photographs, then we saved them. More pants. I really like those style pants. And I'm sure we're not missing anything over here. We aren't, so we're gonna end with this guy. Oh. Atlantic City. I'm gonna keep that for myself. This makes me sad. I hate when trash bag homes end, but let's hope that this isn't an ending. Let's hope maybe they're just taking a break or, but again, like I've said, I'm just thankful that I found this home, that I stumbled upon it on my way to the gym and that I was able to save what I could. So I have more clothes to bring to the flea market and um, a few items to keep for myself. But another great uh, trash bag house series. Will I ever find a home that can compare to the original trash bag house? If we were close, if, if this home starts putting out more stuff, I think we're gonna have a, um, a competition on our hands. But until that happens, that original trash bag house was the trash bag house. That was amazing and I look forward to the next home that does that. Maybe this one, maybe another one, maybe another two or three. Who knows, the possibilities are endless when it comes to saving treasures from the trash. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until the next trash picking episode and stay tuned for um, the upcoming storage unit cleaning, clean out that I, I helped out my friend with. That's going to be exciting too. I think you'll really like those videos. I like doing it. It was fun, it was exciting, and we found some really good things. Well, thanks for watching. Let's all shed a tear for this trash bag house, and let's uh, hope that the following trash week I will be blessed with all sorts of garbage bags. <laughs> Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.